it's Jamie here of Jamie's Faces on behalf of facepaintingtips.com to show you the zebra design. So I'm loading my smoothie blender with the white star blends and just giving a um, coverage all over the entire face. Um, this way it has a softer, more subtle look. You could go ahead and um, cover the whole face with white face paint. That's just your preference. Uh, I just figure since summer's coming and it's getting hotter, I'm playing around more with the star blends as a base. So on the other side of my smoothie blender, I use the black. And here I'm applying it, oh, looks like she has a mustache, oops. Um, <laughs> just around the mouth area to give it that um, muzzle look, the zebra, so that that area sort of looks like it's coming forward a bit. And then I'm defining the side of the face so that it uh, appears longer. Um, you know, like the horse face has really come forward. So this just defines the jawline. Special links to my model. And then I'm adding the black star blends too in a triangular shape in the center of the forehead and coming down right to the center of the forehead. And then here I'm adding black on the eyelids and then just pulling that up along the temple on the sides. Again, that, that'll, that parallels with the jawline and giving it that long face feel. And then a little bit underneath the eyes too. Now I'm using um, a blush brush and the red star blends just to apply a little bit of blush on top. I decided to pull the black up along the nose as well. Here I've added with a chisel brush a little of the light brown um, by Diamond FX um, on the nose and along the side of the muzzle. A little bit just to blend in with the star blends and here I've added some white with the chisel brush and using a sponge to blend the two together. I was working from photographs of actual zebras and just trying to replicate that as closely as possible. So here I've got a number um, <clears throat> four round brush and it's loaded with black and I'm covering the nose and just placing the brush on the side of the nose and pulling it from thick to thin to cover that area around the mouth. And then up in that center point of the forehead, I've added um, five teardrops. Pulling from the hairline to a thin point in the center. And then along the eye, I pressed into the corner of the eye and just pulled out for a nice thin point and then Press inward and up to the center of the eyebrow. And then this is sort of a tiger line, really thin, and then I press down to get it thicker and then just flick back up to the side of that star blends triangular area. I'm playing around with <clears throat> lining the, the lower lid um, of the eye, so you'll see I go through a little bit of a change here trying to figure it out. Okay, so I, I learned this from Mark Reedy. Line the lower lid and then when you open up, it creates a little demarcation because the paint touches the upper lid and now <clears throat> I can see where if I line that entire thing, they can go ahead and open their eyes and it will, it'll just be covered. So I covered the, the eyelids and then pulled down that second line there. And then just continuing with <clears throat> some long teardrops and some sort of tiger type lines where it's thin and then pressing thick and then flicking to thin again. 
And I was focused on um, pulling everything t toward from from far out in toward the nose and toward the mouth because that's what I saw in the real zebra pictures. And this is the fun part where you can, uh, you know, be a little bit more creative with your line work. Here I placed a couple dots um, just to break up the, the pattern and give some interest, but always heading in toward the center line. Couple more dots here and there. Okay, I've decided to underline the eyes and I'm using um, a number four filbert with a dry brush of black and I just took it underneath the eye leaving a good five five or six millimeters before the actual lash line and here with a number four round I'm, I've uh, got um, tag teal and I'm just adding some dots in and little teardrops on top of the black lines And then again, I'm going in with the um, metallic rose by Diamond FX and adding some more little dots and teardrops here and there. And we've got some adhesive jewels, a couple turquoise ones and some pink ones. That one did not want to stick. <laughs> I use the metallic rose for the lipstick on a Q-tip. And there you go. Special thanks to my model. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you were inspired um, to create something like this. And have a great summer. Until next time. Bye-bye.